Hey there, Leo. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in if you're new. Welcome back if you're returning. This is going to be a general message. So if it makes sense with what you're going through, please take it. If this is not your situation, go ahead and try a different reading and see if that one resonates with you more. We're going to jump right into it today. We're going to start with the Romance Angel Oracles, and then we're going to pull from the Light Seer's Tarot. For Leo, please and thank you, Spirit. What are the messages? Thank you. Okay, you guys, we have unrequited love in the reverse. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And then we have trust here. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Please tell me codependency doesn't come out because, like, I don't know why. I just I feel that energy where somebody is hoping that you change your mind about them. They're hoping that you start to catch feelings for them. That's just what I'm getting with unrequited love in reverse. Either you or this person decide which shoe you're in. I do feel like it's this person. It's not, I don't feel like it's you. I think you decided that you're not very interested in this person. But they are hoping that you change your mind and you start catching feelings for them. If you have to reverse the roles, feel free to, okay, guys? I just don't want to confuse myself or the reading. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Yeah, see, you guys don't want to invest in that. And it's almost like this person just doesn't accept that. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. See, and I feel like that's what you're saying. It's like you're saying, listen, have more respect for yourself, you know, or even for for you, right? Can you have a little more respect for my wishes, please? Like I said, I'm not interested. The fact that you're still holding on to this or still trying, it's a little creepy. Like that's a red flag. People like that, honestly, like I understand really being interested in somebody, but if they're not interested in you, let it go. The people that hold on, that's dangerous. That's codependent. The card didn't come out, but I still feel that energy so strong. All right, let's see what the Light Seer's Tarot has for you guys. I hear a little bird. I think it's like on my back porch or something. I don't know. Alpha's freaking out right now. It's a little baby bird. Where is it? Where's it coming from, Alpha? Show me where's it coming from. Like, that's really bothering me. Um, what else for Leo here? Please and thank you. Tell me about this unrequited love in reverse. The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you're not really paying them any mind, any attention. Now, the amount of self-respect that you have, I think that's what turns them on so much, like why they're so interested in you, is the the level of respect you hold from for yourself. Some of you guys could be independent, uh, single parents. I'm hearing flawless, flawless. You guys are very independent here. You make boss moves. Ace of Swords, yes, this is what they see in you. This is why you stand out from the rest. This is why they want a future with you. They really want you to turn things around and start being interested in them. But yeah, you guys are holding back. You're like, mm, no, I've already said I'm not interested. Some of you guys feel like this person, um, they got some things in their mind here, in their head that they need to work out. I think you were very clear about not being interested in this person. And the fact that they're like, I know that's what you're saying, but I hope you're feeling something different. Like, they're wounding tower card. Oh my gosh. Some of you guys might end up having to kick this person out of your life. You might end up having to send them packing. Like, this, this is getting creepy. 
finances and career sideways, like you're blocking the investment. You're not investing time with this person. You're not making yourself available. You're not like, yeah, I'll meet you up here or there or whatever. Like you're distancing yourself. You've created distance here. So tell me how they're, they want you to unblock them. They want you to let them in. This is creepy. Yeah, they feel left out. They're like, I have this opportunity. I have this offer. Why don't we go catch a movie? Or why don't we go to the crystal store? Or why don't we give each other a tarot reading or something? You're like, walk away. Seriously, walk away. Leave me alone. The Harrow font. Yeah. This person is not on your path. You're like, this is where our paths go separate ways, in case you didn't get the hint. Like, some of you guys might have to get a little bit... You might have to get a little bit stern with this person for them to get the picture here. They're viewing you as the perfect, uh, the perfect partner. But I just don't see you interested. Love yourself first, please. Why is this here? Yeah, because you're working on self-love. The star card. You're working on self-love. Look at you. Again, independent. You're like, I know what I meant to receive. Yeah, somebody that's going to give and take the same thing I bring to the table. This person is not on your level. They do not treat relationships, their partners, or even their interests the same way that you do. You would respect somebody's boundaries if they're not interested in you. You wouldn't try to, like, keep egging them on to give you a chance. You would say, oh, okay, that kind of sucks, but oh, well, right? This person, not so much. Like, some of you guys, this is... This person, I don't know, I'm getting like creeper vibes. I don't like it. You might end up having to like fully block this person. I feel like you've blocked them in some ways. But you need to like all out block this person. I don't know why they're coming across like you're, you're, you are the only hope that they have to, to have a successful or happy relationship or future or whatever. You're making it very clear that you don't want to invest time and energy in this. And they're still pushing you. I don't like it. Some of you guys are going to have to, like, block this person all the way around. Not just on social media, but your phone. So they can't call and text you. I don't think you've introduce them to any of your friends or anything i think you have confided in your friends about the situation and they're helping you out i don't think you actually have anything to worry about i just think that this person is bothering you like straight up this is a bugaboo you're dealing with a bugaboo here but you can just block them they're not actually dangerous or anything this is somebody that is relying on you to make them happy that is codependence and that is exactly what you've claimed your independence from. That's why you're so successful because you're not codependent on anybody but yourself. You already know what time it is, you guys. I'm going to leave it here. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you guys and I will see you soon. Until then, please like, share, subscribe, and stay beautiful. Namaste.